Hello and welcome to today's lesson. Now in this lesson, what I thought I'd do is show you how to iterate through an array using jQuery. And if we have time, we might even go into multi-dimensional arrays. So here I have a very basic page set up. I've got jQuery installed in here. And what I'll do is I'll just close that head section. I'll work in the body section here and obviously start with my script tags. I've also got a page set up here. I'm just using um, Google Chrome. I've opened the console and all I'm going to do in here is just log what's going on within the script. So what I want to do here, first of all, is start with dollar, round brackets and semicolon. I always start my scripts like that. And in here, I'm just going to write function. And after the function, what do I want to do? Well, I just need my round brackets curly braces, and then split open those curly braces. So that's the equivalent of saying document.ready function. Now what I want to do is to declare a variable. And let's just call this my array. I'm going to put that equal to square brackets, semicolon. In my square brackets, let's have some colors of red, green. Let's have a third one, which is blue. Now what I want to do is to iterate through that array and I'm going to use the each method. So dollar dot each round brackets semicolon. So that's going to say what do I want to loop through each of what? So I need to specify what I'm looping through, which is my array. And then what do I want to do on that array? Well, I want to run a function round brackets curly braces, splits open those curly braces. So what we're doing is we are looping through or iterating through each element in my array. And that function, what we're going to do is we're going to take each of the key value pairs. And by key and value, I mean in position zero, remembering that an array starts at position zero. In position zero, I have red. In position one is green, in position two is blue. So the key being the position and the value being red and then green and then blue. So key, comma, and value. Now what do I want to do with each of those in this function? All I want to do is just to do a console log. So console.log. And in here, let's just say that the key is equal to, and then we just put in the key value. And then we'll just put in that value. So the value is equal to, and then we'll just put in the value. We'll go across to the browser, we'll refresh, and there we get the key is zero, the value is red, one is green, two is blue, etc. All fairly straightforward. Just zoom in a little bit. Now I did say at the start of the video, I might actually look at multi-dimensional arrays. So let's go ahead and do that. So just in here, we'll put a little bit of space. Let me just scroll up a little bit. And in here, let me just do another console.log. And in here, just to break things up a bit, let's just put in some pluses in here. That'll just break things up. And then in here, let's create another array. So variable, let's call this second array. Put that equal to square brackets, semicolon. And I'm going to split open that array. And inside this array, we're going to have more arrays. So in this one, let's have red and we'll have blue and then comma after the square bracket and we'll put in a second array. In this one, let's have Volvo and we'll have Fiat. So these are cars. And in the third one, let's have some fruits in the third one. So we'll have apple and let's have pear. Now I don't need a comma here because that is the end of that last array. Okay, let's just scroll up a little bit, give a little bit more space. And what do I want to do with this second array? Well, I want to loop through this second array again. So let's just do the following. We've got each and inside here, what am I looping through? Well, I'm looping through that second array. So second array, comma, I want to run a function on that. So run brackets and curly braces and split open those curly braces. 
Now, as before, we are going to return a key value pair. In this case, the key will be zeros, the zero position, but in the zero position of this outer array, this parent array, in the zero position, I have another array and my values this time is an array. So we still get a key value pair. So key and value. Now, instead of calling them key and value, let's say that I call this key, let's say it's a set of results. So we're going to get a set of result results. And let's just call these ones oh, results. It doesn't matter what you call them. You can call them whatever you wish. Something meaningful might be best for you. Now, once we've gone into that second array, what do we then want to do? Well, we want to run another each method on these. Now this time, what are we operating on? Well, we know we get a set of results. So in other words, I want to loop through these results here. I'm returning this the first time through. So this is an array. So I want to loop through this array. So I want to loop through the results. And I want to run a function on that. So function, curly braces, and split it open. And again, inside my function, I will get a key value pair. Let's just call them key and value. Now, what I want to do here is just to console log those. So console.log. And just to show what's happening, let's say the following. Let's say that the set is equal to, and we'll put plus set, plus, then let's say we've got the key is equal to, and that will be the key, plus, and then we'll have that the value is equal to, plus value. So let's go across to the browser and a quick refresh. And there we go. We've got the first set of results up here. That's the first set, uh, the first array we did. And then we've got the second set down here. And as you can see, we had the first set of results the first position, the key position zero here, it values red. And in position one, we have blue. Then we have the cars and then we have the fruit. So that is one way we can loop through an array and a multi-dimensional array. Now, this video here is actually part of a course on coding.academy. And this is part of a little sequence that we go through in one of the courses called Tic Tac Toe. And in that course, we create a tic-tac-toe game using jQuery, HTML, a little bit of PHP and Bootstrap. If you check the description below, I've actually put a link to that course with a special discount, but even better value will be the full membership. Now, currently there is a special deal on that and you will be grandfathered in at that price. That means the price will never rise and you will get access to all current courses and future courses for that one low fee. So check that out as well. And as always, if you enjoyed the lesson, place a comment below and let me know what you are looking for. So that's all from me. See you in the next video.